Two developers who are working to bring a billion dollar project to downtown Los Angeles say they will not work with council member Kevin DeLeon on that massive project. NBC4's Alex Rozier joins us live right now with the uh, reaction from the developers to that now infamous leaked conversation. Alex. Yeah, the developers called that conversation offensive and painful to hear. And because of Kev Kevin DeLeon's contributions to it, they say they will no longer work with him. And I was personally attracted to Los Angeles because of its diversity and its inclusion. Don Peebles and Victor McFarlane hope to bring a two tower, $1.6 billion development to downtown LA. Angels Landing will stand next to the Angels Flight Trolley with one tower at 500 feet, another around 900 feet. It will be the largest building ever done by African American developers in the country. Um, by far. The developers say the project's been in the works for five years, but some of the steps before construction have taken longer than they hoped, in part because they say council member Kevin DeLeon only met with them once for 15 minutes. And now after the racist audio, the developers think they know why. It was illuminating because it indicated that they, he thought of us as less than. And as a result, um, it makes it impossible for us to work with him or anyone who expresses those kinds of ideals. So you have no plans to engage with Kevin DeLeon moving forward on this project? No. <clears throat> no. DeLeon's office said the reason the project is delayed is not due to the council member, it's due to the developers. The council member's communication director said today De Leon never spends significant time with developers to avoid bias or even the appearance of giving favorability. Spokesperson Pete Brown said this is a, quote, deeply cynical ploy to give themselves a favorable advantage in negotiations. I refuse personally to work with racists are racist enablers. It's a big project now involved in a big controversy, but the developers say they still look forward to bringing the buildings to downtown LA. And so the goal here is for the project to break ground in the next 18 months. They hope for it to be done by the time the Olympics come to town here in Los Angeles. And as for how today's news will impact the developments and their plans, we'll see. Reporting live in Boyle Heights, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News.